Welcome to our channel, ladies and gentlemen. William Samoy Ruto was in a coastal development tour. And in his usual manner, he didn't disappoint. He gave another big promise that Kenyans have renamed another lie, a white lie. Let us look at it. Look at the budget ya sekta hii ya madini ilikuwa milioni moja na thelathini. Lakini nimepunguza ile pesa ya watu kuranda randa na kuzunguka. Niliona jana watu wa magazeti wanasema nimepunguza milioni miatano. Hapana zi milioni miatano. Nimepunguza bilion kumi na moja. Ya wale wote wanaosafiri kwenda sijui conference. Wanaenda sijui workshop. Wanaenda sijui benchmarking. Wanaenda sijui kufanya nini? Mambo ambayo hayana faida kwa wananchi wa Kenya. Tumesema safari itagayo garimiwa na wananchi wa Kenya. Iwe ni safari italeta pesa, italeta waegezaji ama ilete manufaa kwa wananchi wa Kenya. Kama wewe unaenda kufanya eh, kuzurura ama wewe unaenda sokoni kwenda kununua marinda ama kwenda kununua jeans ama kwenda kununua viatu wewe tafuta pesa yako wewe uende ufanye hiyo kazi pesa ya wananchi ya Kenya haiwezi kutumika kwenda kufanya shopping nyinyi mnanielewa mimi nauliza nyinyi mnataka 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 watu waende watembee wa, wa wanunue wafanye wa shopping na pesa ya Kenya ah bana nimesema hiyo bana na nimesema tunapunguza pesa ya travel ya all government departments and all sectors tutapunguza tuta, tuta by 50% pesa ya judiciary 50% pesa ya legislature 50% pesa ya executive ya mambo ya travel ndio tuhakikishe kwamba hawa wananchi tunapunguza budget yetu tusiwe tunakopa pesa ambayo inatumika kwa njia ambayo haifai Nyinyi mnanielewa? Hiyo ndiyo mpango tuko naye. Na hiyo mapendekezo ya kupunguza hiyo mambo yote nimepeleka jana kule bunge. Hawa kinachome waende wamalize hiyo kazi. Si ndio? Waende wapunguze mambo ya kutravel ama wasipunguze hawa jamaa. Wapunguze wasipunguze. Mtu akitaka kutembea si atembee na pesa yake. Mtu akitaka kwenda shopping si afanye na pesa yake. Eh hey, wananchi wamesema bwana chome na wewe the reason why people cannot take William Ruto seriously is because this is the first time he is making such promises. Let us look at what Otiende Amolo is saying after William Ruto made this promise. This is what Otiende Amolo is saying. That hashtag Kenya. So President Ruto spends 56 million on traveling in half a year then demands everyone else to cut travel expenses and asks parliament to implement today work off knowing national assembly is in recess wa kenya mtajua hamjui so chinda molo is a member of parliament but leave alone that i want to give you a summary of the biggest reason why people don't trust what the president is saying. Kindly have a look. Na ili tupunguze garama ya gas. Tumesema tunaondoa ushuru. Namba mbili, ile mtungi mnanunua. Kuanzia mwezi wa sita. Iyo mtungi itatoka shilingi elfu mbili na mianane. Kupaka shilingi miatano ama miatatu. na mwezi Februari uliwaambia wa Kenya kwamba itakapofika tarehe mosi mwezi Juni bei ya gesi ya mtungi wa kilo sita itapungua kati ya shilingi tatu na tano. Hivi sasa wa Kenya wanasubiri siku tano kutoka sasa. Wanataka kufahamu iwapo mipango yote iko line ikifika tarehe moja mwezi Juni watakapoenda katika maduka haya ya kununua gesi wataipata gesi hii kwa kati ya shilingi tatu na tano. Kwa sasa hakuna njia ya kuondoa ushuru mpaka bajeti pite. 
Kwa hiyo uhakikishie kwamba ikifika tarehe moja Juni. J- tarehe moja Juni inawezekana na yes, paka yeah. pengine tumesema awali. Paka tutapitisha hii eh, hii mswada pale bunge ndio tuweze kuhakikisha kwamba tunateremsha hiyo bei. Ukana na mabadiliko haya utaomba wa Kenya radhi. Kwa nini ambao walikuwa wanategemea kwamba ikifika kwa nini tarehe moja mswada wewe ndio huko wewe ndio huko wewe ndio huko na shida na mimi. Wa Kenya hawana shida. Okay Mr President let's finish. Hakuna tena mambo ya evictions katika Nairobi. Kama kutakuwa na maneno ni maneno ya relocation ambayo itakuwa ni kwa utaratibu bila ya mwananchi kuvunjiwa nyumba. Uwezi kutoka nyumbani alafu unarudi jioni unakuta masufuria barabarani na blanketi sijui imekaa wapi. That one will not happen again. We want to make sure that we are an orderly humane society that respects the right of everybody irrespective of who they are or is respective of their financial status we are all equal before the constitution Mafuta ndio hiyo imepanda bei. Si ni namna hiyo? Sasa badala ya watu kushughulikia mafuta wanaanza mambo ya fitina ati wananipangia. Sasa mnanipangia nini? Pangieni mafuta kwanza iteremuke chini. Mimi nataka niwaambie hii mafuta inaongezwa usiku na mchana. Mimi nataka niwaeleze ya kwamba these people don't understand the damage they are doing to the people and the economy of Kenya. Kwa hii taxes wanaongeza usiku na mchana. Na mimi nataka niwaulize watu wa hapa Manga. Tafadhali, mkiona tumesimama hapa mbele yenu, tunawaambia ya kwamba tutengeneze hiyo serikali inakuja ambayo inaelewa lugha ya mwananchi wa kawaida. Watu wa Manga mko tayari? Maisha imepata tu. Hiyo ndio mafuta, hiyo ni mafuta. Watu hawawezi wakajinunulia. Mafuta ya kupikia hata hao hao hasoras. Wenye wanaendaga wanapimewa tu mafuta tu 50 bob, tu kupika agarao siku mbili, siku tatu, wanashindwa na kununua. Sasa wewe Ruto, kumbuka vile ulikuwa unaahidia hawa hasoras. Ukiwaambia utawatoa juu chini, uwaweke juu. Kumbe ulikuwa unawatoa juu, uwaweke chini. Jana mlipandisha mpaka mambo ya fuel petroleum kerosene kila bei iko juu na ile imeperekwa juu hata diesel iko na pesa kidogo kuliko per kerosene ni ni kwa sababu umeangalia ukaona huyu mahawa wenye wanaitwa hasoras mwenye umekuwa ukiita hasoras ulikuwa unaenda makanisa unalia ukiwaambia vile utakuwa muaminifu vile utawachunga vile utachuka mali zao vile hata mambo ikikuwa aje utakuwa unasimama na wao ndio umenyonga umewakunywa umewakunywa mpaka damu with that even the Kenya Kwanza team that have been out there saying that you know we don't like William Ruto you know we are unfair we should give him a chance what can you say about that because internet does not lie we only pick the promises that he has always made vis-a-vis the implementation. You know what caught my attention is that he's saying wa Kenya hawana shida na yeye. In other words, hata akitudanganya, uh, we are okay with it. He's saying that the people were scrutinizing like the journalists there. I believe that was uh, Lofty Matambo. Ndio kwa na shida na yeye. And then the other question that people are asking, when did he realize that all these travels are a waste of money? because he, it's like he's just landed from the moon and he's realized that these traveling allowances are depriving Kenyans of their hard earned cash when did he because he is just playing politics with us i've always told you that rito knows when to speak he's, he knows what is music to our ears if you if you if you saw the women when they were being promised that the the, the cost of gas will come down they were over the moon with joy now what pains my heart is that even now there are a few people who are still vulnerable they have allowed themselves to be hoodwinked 
the day we will all wake up and scrutinize what the government is telling us so that before another promise is given to us we should demand for the implementation of the first promises the day we shall realize that when it comes to suffering or development we only have two ethnic groups the rich and the poor this kind of divide and rule where you are told we are our, you, you are our people you are not our people you see when there is hunger hunger does not differentiate in terms of your ethnicity or political affiliation both the Kenya Kwanza supporters and the Azimir adherents are both suffering they are all suffering as long as they don't have enough money in their pockets as long as they don't have jobs as long as the environment for doing business is never pleasant they will all suffer and so ladies and gentlemen we should call on the president to be truthful to be honest let us not be taken like fools i don't know what you think but i feel we should wake up from our slumber and put the government to task and that is my time